Like most of you, I know many people who have diabetes and struggle to pay for it simply because manufacturers have jacked up the prices. People with diabetes shouldn't have to decide between groceries and their medication, but many of them have been in that position. In 1923, the inventors who discovered insulin sold the patent for one dollar. Their premise was anybody who needed it would be able to afford it. And their good intentions have been far left behind. Drug makers have repeatedly increased the price of insulin many times over. The Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation says the cost has risen 600% in the last 20 years. That is doing a huge disservice to the inventors who wanted to make sure that everyone who needed this drug would have access to it. Due to the pressure from the White House and Congress, the companies that say, you know, that manufacture insulin now say they will cap the price at 35. And good for them, that's good. But I honestly say, in many cases, that comes too late. Many have suffered and some have died because this much needed medication wasn't affordable. Going forward, we need to be certain that they cannot raise the prices again. And this bill that Leader Murphy has introduced will protect that by putting it into law.